Olivia Wilde says if you're going to do incest, do it with Banner. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I feel exactly the same way. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. That's a very that's a very good way to start the interview. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Freud would say about Addison and Eliza? I, I don't know. Look, I, I, Addison. Addison thinks he's doing the right thing. You know, he's um, he's a man with a lot of conviction, and I think that always makes those sort of characters scary when when um, you know they've got a real sense of what they're doing is the right thing. So he, I actually found that so fascinating. Like he seems to me like a total moral compass, but he is very sure of what he's doing. What's sort of the balance there when you know he's deranged, but mm -hmm. he, he doesn't think so? Well, I think you've just got to really go for it. You've got to, you know, not play him like he's a bad, twisted guy. You've just got to play him as straight as you can based on the script. And I think Zach did a great job. He made Addison interesting enough that I didn't have to go and kind of make up extra stuff to make him interesting. I felt like there was enough there on the page to just really, really go go for it and do, it, do him with conviction. And I also thought there's a lot of humour there in, in a lot of stuff that he does as well. But there is, and I can't mm. stop smiling talking about Deadfall, but it's the most intense thing <laughs> I've probably seen. Um, do you, is there, I mean, where did you see the humour in it? I saw, I saw the humour in the, in the surroundings, not so much in the, in the actual dialogue, but in the, in the situations that everyone's in and that Addison forces people to be in. So, for instance, when he takes June hostage, played by Sissy Spacek, and finds out that it's Thanksgiving and insists that she just serve Thanksgiving because I didn't really have it as a child and I had this terrible background, but I want to be part of your family today. And even though I've got a shotgun, I'm going to chain your son to the table. I insist that everyone give thanks and talk, talk about each other. And I, when I read that stuff, I was like, that's just gold. You know, that's... So it's, there are no jokes in the film, but I found it very funny. Um, what, what do you think is the defining scene as far as like who Addison is? Hmm. I, I think the scene in the cabin where he comes across a, the little girl um, who's obviously being compromised by her stepfather, uh, seeing the, the conviction in, in Addison and his journey kind of changing course there, I thought was a pivotal moment. What was it like working with Olivia on this slightly awkward? Scenes. Well, you you imply that it was slightly incestuous. We do have a kiss, um, so there was no way that that I was going to be in a movie with Olivia Wilde without getting a kiss in. So even though she was my sister, I felt like you know what the hell. Um, so that's how that got in there. <laughs> uh, she was a lot of fun. She's got a she's got a great sense of humour, and so does Sissy Spacek. So I had a had a very very good time with those ladies. And just there's not enough Thanksgiving movies, are there? This should have opened on Thanksgiving, actually. Um, it's, it's one of the most intense family dinners in a film I think I've ever seen. Um, but it was, it was amazing to do. And it's, sort of, it's good because it lowers the bar. You know, like, I'm so sick of movies that have all family get-togethers as being perfect occasions. And we know they're not, right? So we're just, we're just lowering the bar. We're just taking the pressure off everyone that if you can just get through a dinner without a shotgun at the table, you're ahead of the curve as far as we're concerned.